And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you this eight-round super lightweight contest. And I begin with the boxer fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting under the trainer, Don Dan Kisco of the Ashaiman Gym. With a record of eight wins, three losses, all eight wins coming by way of knockout and one draw. Weighing in at 145 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Abraham, the Ebo Electric Afro. And our ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, I present to you the boxer fighting out of the Bronx gym here in Accra. Gone 11 straight wins without a loss. Eight of the wins coming by way of knockout and weighing in at 144 pounds. Training under the very legendary Carl Loco with blue and gold trims tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the boxer. Paco, the Punisher. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we go straight to the referee in the center of all of the action. Good evening, guys. You know the rules already. If I say stop, you stop, break, you break. Any question? Touch gloves and good luck. Welcome to the third bout of the night. This is a super lightweight contest over 12 rounds. And we've got about, you know, to save her at this point in time. Round one of the Shadow 12. Takpo Alote undefeated against Abraham Afo. So we'll be doing eight rounds, not 12, of this contest. Oh, that was... And knocked down powerful one. <laughs> oh, yes. I knocked down powerful one. From Ibrahim Afo, and he's doing his best to get back into this fight. And well, you can see, Afo after the knockdown, he's looking more steady and focused as well. He's not dropped his guard, and he's timing his punches as well. Papalote leading with his left jab. He, he needs to be consistent with the left jab. I'm not, I'm not impressed uh, by yeah. the, the guard of Afo, Abraham Afo. You know, he's been able to penetrate Papalote, and earlier we saw him, you know, deliver that straight right upstairs. He goes in again with the left hand, and the jab follows. And Afo, Bakushi moved out of, as you move out of the corner, he's not very good and effective on the ropes. Alote trying to fight back. 
with the left and the right combinations. Abraham Alpo trying to come in once again with the right, but you know, nothing really worked. You know, for him, what a run for Bakpo Arote. Yeah, it's a point. Absolutely. It's, it's a knockdown. In his attempt to throw the punch, he missed, and so that is that is unfortunate. But that is why I keep on saying that Paul says when you are throwing a punch, you should be very careful. Don't put too much weight behind the punch that you are throwing. Because the slightest, the slightest counter punch will actually see you on the canvas. So it's something, it's a lesson that trainers must learn. And in impacting or training their boxer, they need to make sure that they teach them, they teach them that it is very, very important that when you are throwing a punch, don't put too much weight behind the punch. About to start round two of the scheduled eight. Already we've recorded a knockdown in the first round. Bakwalote in the blue and Abraham Apo in the red and white. Referee has scored two boxes. He's trying to talk to them. Super lightweight contest. You know, the division, I, you will go you to know, the Earlier water was, division. So. You know, I was talking to you, you know, about how we've got a, a lot of undefeated boxes. That is good exchanges from both boxes. Uh, especially that is what... That is... That is... <laughs> You know, I was talking to you, you know, about what we've got a lot of undefeated boxers. Let's say he's from Boom. And he goes again with a left. Apple is in trouble. He's trying to fight back. And it's Apple. He looks unconvincing and weak. He's not contesting again. He's not fighting back. And, and his and the challenge our boxers have is when they have their opponents at their mercy, their inability to kill the bout. Um, it's, it's a major, it's a major challenge that our trainers must be working on our boxers. You know, as he we, looks as they use this stage to prepare for bigger uh, bouts, bigger stages at the world championship level. You need to learn to make sure that you close the bout. You know, Jeff. Afu looks very, very physically built, you know, strong with a lot of, um, you know, set sparks, but then he doesn't look convincing. Anytime there's a shot to his head and to his body, he starts and he doesn't look, you know, like he's in good condition at all. Well, boxing is not, mo it's not mostly about size. It's about your intelligence, your quickness, your, your technique, your skill. And so, I mean, you remember Frank Brunovers, I am Mike Tyson. If it, if it has to do with size, I, I'm sure that Frank Bruno would have won One, that bout before down. he started. You understand me? Yeah. You remember Michael Springs versus Mike Tyson. So, I mean, it's about how crafty, intelligent, well-conditioned, physical conditioning, mental conditioning, and also your ring generalship. You know, but sometimes size also do matter. Well, we just it, recently it, saw it in Ramirez against Habib Ahmed, where I it agree. ended up being a pounding I agree, but at this level, you know, exercise. Super, fe super featherweight, lightweight, super lightweight, Walter with you and it's all about skill, you intelligence, know, we've got the last 10 seconds, you know, to go in this round. Abraham Affle in...
that effective. You know, what a night it's been. It started slowly, but you yeah, can but see it's the fans. It's picking up very it's well. It's picking up. The fans have come in. And they're enjoying, you know, the music, you know, at the break. This is a third fight for the night. We've still got two more left. And remember, the main bout is that Pan-African Super Featherweight title bout. And it's between Bright Ayala and then... We are in. We are in for the third of the eight rounds scheduled in this super lightweight context. Bakpalote, you know, that was a left reply there from Ibrahim Afo. Afo now on a toe to toe with Bakpalote, the undefeated boxer in 11 fights. And they clinch once again after missed attempts. But with his size, you were expecting that he should have power punches, but he has not he has not unleashed any yet. With his size, you expect that his punches will be heavier as compared to Papaloti, but he's not unleashed that yet. So we yet to see that um, level of convoction from the two boxes. We still I don't have it. I have not even seen him hit the ribcage of Pakualuti. Because I want I want him to do that and let's see how Pakualuti will fare. You know, once again, it was another straight right from Pakualuti. And we saw how it made Afo backpedal. Pakpo delivers the left jab again. It's landed. He goes in with the right. And still, we have... Afo coming forward, stepping forward, and taking the fight to Kakwalote. That's Afo. And Kakwalote trying to stand, you know, toe to toe and fight. No, he's not running away. Afo goes in with the left. And it's not Pakpalote connecting upstairs with double hooks from the left. And the referee, you know, has got words and and we have to. Wait and see what is happening with a consultation from the referee. But then we are back the last 40 seconds of this third round of the context that's super featherweight. A super lightweight contest. There's quite a lot, a lot of intensity and quickness from and mobility. Um, but we've seen that so far from Pakwalote, but we've not seen a uh, similar coming from Abraham Afo. Yeah, Abraham Afo has got three defeats to record in eight professional bouts. You know, it tells a lot about his credibility and how far he can go in the sport. You know, those who go on to become world champions, you can see early on with their fight records. Pakwalote dictating again, and that's the end of round Three. This is another round that I will give to Kapalote. And we're waiting for... That's the end of round. Oh, this is another round. Oh, we'll give two cups of water.
I'll give to the college. Another counter, you know, reply from Afo with his left jab and also connecting with the hook. He goes with the jab. There was a reply, but it didn't land from Afo. And that Afo was a one push. And Papalote goes in straight. And he's not convincing at us at all with his punches. I'm talking about Afo. The few occasions that he used the jab, you realize that Papalote struggled a bit. And, but he was, but Afo has not been consistent with that. He, re he uses the jab and then uh, go. He relaxes a bit, allow Papalote to come in and control the rhythm. The challenge Afo is having is that he's not fighting within a certain rhythm. He's still not gotten into his rhythm yet, and that is a challenge. And so he he struggled to find out how he will be able to address the strategy that Papalote actually. Can. What Papo is doing is fighting very steady. I'm mean, using the jabs when necessary pick the opening and going for a combination. Yeah, that was a good right there from Alote. And another left to the head. And he goes in again, but then misses. He drops the right now. And, and the ref has got, I think he's going to deduct points. And another left to the head. And he goes in the head, but then misses. He drops the right. Because in, in this moment, like, you need an end swell that will, uh, with a metal paste that is used to reduce the swelling of uh, blood on the face of the boxer. And that's what the doctor is doing, trying to assess. I think he's been given a clearance, you know, to continue. But that's going to worry him a little bit in this fourth round. Afo still fighting on. Oh, that was a miss. Uppercut there from Pakwalote. This, this cut is an opportunity for Pakwalote to actually exploit. Let's see if he can take advantage with blood oozing out. And it's... Still, Pakwalote, who's working his socks off in this round, throwing punches, and also most of them landing. He goes downstairs, and still no reply. And it's Apo now trying to fight back. He's attacking, but still yet to land clean punches. You know, you like to talk about his conditioning, Apple? Well, I, um, the, the, the physical condition is not that bad. Um, Apple, the endurance, I mean, we, we are just in the forefront. So, But the problem I have with him is that he, the basic things he needs to do, um, he's, just, he's just been an aggressor. He's not using the jab consistently. He's not using the jab to create opening. He's not landing decent punches. He's not and, working on the body of Papalote. And so, that's the end of round four. Uh, the doctor and more to come. We've got two more fights, you know, before the main bout for the evening. It's a WBA Pan-African Super Featherweight title. The professor in your picture. Uh, he's watching on. I think so far he will be satisfied with 
you know what he's seen from the Azuma Nelson fight. Fine boxing on African continent. So we're ready for round five of the scheduled eight in the super lightweight contest. Pakualote in the all blue against Abraham Afo in the red and white. Apo now trying to fight his way back. Another wild punch from Apo. Bakwalote, he's retreating, but trying to distract his man with his job. is because you realize that Apo, Apo is becoming a bit aggressive, and so and, and see, when, when he's doing that, I'm expecting him to be releasing the jabs. But unfortunately, he's not doing that. But that would have been a very good team for him because he realized that Papualote is retreating. And he's, he was, you know, in the corner but managed to slide away and he's now back against the rope now. Afo still waiting for an opening. He goes upstairs, connects. That was a good one there. And... He's not retreating at all. He's not retreating. So he needs to make sure that he forces, he, he needs to work on the body on the rib cage to force Papalote to drop his guard and then he can unleash he can unleash so far he's proving that his right his right is very powerful then he can unleash the right exactly so and that's what you know he's unable to do so he allows Papalote to come back into you know the fight with some flurry of punches and still throwing more and landing more <laughs> He's ferocious. Last ten seconds of round five and he jabs his way Papalote doing it well and against the rope it's Apo now who is attacking and we couldn't get the onslaught from Apo because the ball came in end of round five we've seen some aggressiveness from Apo but then he's not got the punches to back his yeah. aggression He's very running around, but... Oh, and this was the left, left you know, hook that nearly caused damage. That is a severe, that's a severe cut. That's a severe cut on the left, the left eye of Abraham Afo. And Papalote must take advantage of that. He must be hitting, hitting that place so well. You know, let's see how he's able to do it. So it's been some interesting stories, you know, to write after three bouts of the night. This hasn't been anything contrary to what we've seen. It's been solid so far, you know, with the two boxes um, delivering. Round six, it's been exciting. we're underway. Yes, you know, here at the Bukon Boxing Arena. It's a super lightweight contest. Papalote in the all blue now attacking against Afo. They are going toe to toe now. And it's Afo.
Nasty for Nasty Nasty And now, ladies and gentlemen, with the representatives of A1 Diesel, the sponsor for this bout in the ring, would want to put our hands together and congratulate the two boxers for eight rounds of interesting boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of grilling action, we settle it on the scorecards. Judge Owusuansa scores the bout 79-74. Judge Michael Nikwe scores it, 79-72. And Judge Confidence Yagbe scores it, 80-72, in favor of the winner by unanimous decision. Back both the punishers!